the media tsunami, the technology decisions seem to be relatively simple. There are a number of different ways to capture. Do you want to do just audio? Do you want to do audio and slides? Do you want to do video? What is it that you want to get, and why do you want to get it, at least in the context of lecture capture? You could add that to campus events. You could add that to training videos. What are you willing to invest in pre- and post-production? The management decisions are the hard part. Planning, policy, whose budget will pay for this? Whose people will support this? Where do we hold it? Who owns it? A whole bunch of interesting management challenges. So once you have it, who owns it? The faculty member? The department that creates it? The university? How do you define and how do you know I, the ownership of, of the intellectual property behind it? Particularly if multiple hands were on it, if the university or the department invested in creating it. What permissions do I need to use it? Some of that may be that how do I take fair use in my classroom and then publish materials I've used fair use in my classroom when they go out on a web video, to iTunes U, to a campus website, to other kinds of things? Uh, what permissions do I need in terms of my own interest to do this? Who catalogs and curates it? Who's responsible for that? Is that the library? Is that the department? What if it's only a couple of departments that are doing this and they're each on different providers for the technology itself? Is there a need for centralization? What's the value of centralization? Do you want the central folks involved in this? If you're an entrepreneurial department and you view central IT or the library if, it not, if, if, if at least not as the enemy, at least not a friend of your ultimate arc efforts because you feel they're going to slow you down and you have the money, you have the technology and the capacity to do this on your own as your unit. How and where is it archived? Who buys the servers? Is it on university servers? Is it department servers? What happens with all this? How is it accessed? Who uses it? Becomes another part of this conversation. If it's for my widget class, do I want to let my colleague use it for his or her widget class? Do I want to, if I'm part of a state system, and we're teaching widgets at four-year colleges, the university, and the community colleges. If I've got a really good video segment for one part of my class, do I want to let others across the system use it? Should I be paid for that? Is that part of my obligation as a member of a state system to allow that? All kinds of questions. And who controls access? Do I decide who gets that if it's my stuff? Does my department decide? Does my institution decide? These are all uncharted territory for most of us. It's a journey of discovery for most of us in terms of answering these questions. The technology is easy. There's lots of technology providers out there that will help you capture and create content and do post-production work. It's the management questions that become compelling and challenging for most of us.